An outfit is never complete without a handbag, at least from a woman's standpoint. I mean, just imagine if there was no such thing, ladies. We all know we're famous for carrying the entire house in our trusty companion, the handbag. Today for Fashion Vibe, we're featuring Terebe Hinkson, director, creator, designer of Membet, who is putting a zesty spin on handbag design. Welcome to Fashion Vibe and today it's all about handbags, beautiful handbags and we have the person behind Membet, Tariba Hinkson, you hear? Now, people that don't really know what is Membet, what does Membet represent, I should say? Well, I like to use the tagline for Membet, luxury handbags for the everyday fashionista. The concept behind Membet is that I make simple bags, really, you know, classic designs, nothing too fancy, because at the end of the day, I want my handbags to be practical. Yes. And what I do is I use African print as well as Madras because they're such beautiful, vibrant prints. And I let the prints speak for themselves. I combine it with leather. I use different types of le leather and different types of leather finishing. This one is goat leather. You'll see it has a different texture. Yes, this one is ox leather. Sometimes I use the sheepskin leather, which is very soft. And that tells the story of the bag in itself. So that's essentially the story behind Membet. Just really, really eye-captivating, pretty bags, simple, practical, and functional. Well, you caught my eye for sure, I can tell you that, because I want to take all your bags and just run away with it. <laughs> but you know, I probably might get a lawsuit or something, so I'll play it safe. How did you start in this whole, because you were telling me the story, and I'm kind of like, you know, she's not telling me the truth, but how did you get started into that, and who taught you to create these bags? Okay, well, first of all, it started in 2009, I was living in Addis Ababa at the time and I was working with uh, small business women and the craft groups in Addis Ababa and so I learned a lot about what items that um, the city had to offer in terms of leather, materials, uh, skills, expertise, etc. So the leather industry was very captivating to me because I didn't know anything about leather. I didn't know that you could tie-dye leather. I didn't know that a lot of alligator leather is actually cow leather with alligator finishing. I didn't know so many different things about leather and I thought it was just so much fun to experiment with something that I've never used before. And then, of course, being in Africa and me always loving African print, I figured why not combine the two? Now, I mean, an African print handbag is not exactly this new innovative thing that I came up in my head. I'm sure if you, you looked around, you'll see that other people do it. But the difference I think that I have is that I don't try to do anything too fancy. You know, I just really stick to the basics. I concentrate on the fabrics and the leather. And that's what Mehmet is all about. So that's how I started. I thought, you know, let me just combine the two, see what I come up with. I started off outsourcing the work until I had my son. And I figured, why don't I just stay home and make bags myself so I can enjoy the early years with my child, which is what I did for about two years. And then I came back to St. Lucia, where I thought Membet would have died a slow death. But when I came back, the demand was crazy. I started off, started off doing like a few here and there, you know, custom orders for people. And then people just started bombarding me. People who had bought in Addis were tracking me on the internet and saying, do you make any more of these bags? My mom really wants one. So I said, you know what? This is something that has a lot of potential. I can't stop. So I need to see how I can continue doing this. And now it's 2013 and I'm still here and it's growing day by day. What are some of the, I would say, achievements thus far for Membet? Um, I just, I had an online store. A lot of times I sell through people who know me. I sell at bazaars where people can actually see my stuff. My greatest achievement is opening my online store and having complete strangers seeing this on the internet, buying it, liking it, and buying more. Wow. I, I mean, I'm always fascinated that people just saw my little store on Etsy and saw my bags and giving me all this feedback. Oh my God, these are really lovely. I actually had to give mine away to my girlfriend, so I'm gonna buy another one. And I think to me that is, you know, when people cannot inspect it and they take that leap of faith to just buy it yes. and then they get it and they love it enough to buy again, that's all, that's some serious gratitude for me. Nice. So how can we get in touch with you? How can persons get a bag from Membet? Okay. Primarily I sell off of, I guess, word of mouth and friends. You can contact me from my Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash mem.bet. You don't need a Facebook account to be able to see my Facebook page. A lot of people don't, um, don't, don't realize that. <laughs> you can see what I have. You can inbox me, message me, 
or you can go to my website www.membet.com my online store will be up and running by next week monday Ooh. and so i i'm just revamping the store because like i said i had one before but i was hosted off of etsy but now i have my own full-fledged online store where anybody can buy all over the world i can ship and that's how you get in touch with Membet. You could also look out for me seasonally. I'm usually at peak areas. Um, so like June April is a very, it's one of my busiest times. It's my oh, most, I can imagine. It's my most exhausting time. My dress <laughs> is so difficult to work with. And usually I'm at the malls. I usually set up a little booth and stuff at the malls for June April and Christmas as well. I'm also a member of the Creative Development Network, okay. which is a group of um, crafters and artists. And we really focus on trying to create some sort of Made in St. Lucia brand. You know, we look at ourselves as crafters and artisans, as professions, not as, as vendors of such goods. So we usually come together and we do the same sort of sales in peak areas. We try to take advantage of export opportunities, etc. So also, if you see Creative Development Network, you know Membet will be around. So that's two different Very ways nice. that you can look out for me. Very nice. I mm -hmm. hope, guys, you take advantage of this and they contact you because... I mean, I know a lot of ladies will want to get it, and guys will want to get it mm -hmm. for their girls as yes. well. Oh, and for guys, there will be wallets soon. Everybody has been asking me and asking me and asking me to do men's stuff. I'm not quite convinced that I could do a, men, a man's <laughs> bag and men will be just clamoring to buy it. But I'm definitely going to have wallets for the Christmas season. Mm -hmm. Yes, for men. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. But once again, thank you for coming by, Tariba. Thank you for having me. Not a problem. And I hope to see you again when you have your next line of different, unique yes. handbags okay. on here on the vibe. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Not a problem. Okay. What I love about Tariba's designs are that she uses funky patterns to really mix things up. Just imagine how a basic outfit can pop with a bold print in just seconds. Let's take another break. We'll be right back.